Hi, Miss C's readers. So this afternoon's story is Goldie Rocks and the Three Bears by Corey Rosen Schwartz and Beth Colton, illustrated by Nate Wag. It's a fairy tale. Once upon a time, a rock and roll time, three bears in a band jammed with ease. The papa bear drummed, the mama bear strummed, and the baby bear tickled the keys. Tickle the keys means that he played the piano. But the band didn't have many fans yet, and papa bear figured out why. Though we all love to croon and carry, can carry a tune, we can't hit those notes way up high. So they set out to find a soprano. Soon after they left, a girl knocked. Is that porridge I smell? Hmm, gee, that would be swell. So she checked the house to see if it was unlocked. A studio, great balls of fire, amazed Goldie, racing through the door. She forgot all about the food and was now in the mood to hurry on in and explore. The mama, bear, my, mama bear's milk, sorry, the mama bear's mic hit her elbow and Papa's reached the top of her head. But Baby Bears was hiked to just where she liked. I'll give it a whirl, Goldie said. So she grabbed it and started performing. Oh, doobie wop, drum dee dee doo. She was singing quite well till she stumbled and fell and the microphone stand broke in two. So Goldie said, I'll try the headphones. But Mama Bear's pair was too tight and Papa Bear's were loose. Gee, these are no use, but Baby Bear's fit her just right. Just like other Goldilocks stories. The tune was quite catchy, thought Goldie. I'd love to be part of their band. The guitar was too twangy, the cymbals were too clingy. The piano was perfectly grand. Exhausted from moving and grooving, she needed to catch a few Z's. This day's been a doozy. I'm feeling quite whoop snoozy. So she dozed off on Baby Bear's keys. In the meantime, the bears held tryouts, but no one had blown them away. The hair was too twitchy, the pigs were too pitchy, and the red and red was simply okay. Bears don't look happy, do they? The family returned to their cottage, distressed from their lack of success. When they saw the inside, the mama bear cried, Egads, what a mess! Someone's been using my mic stand. Someone's been using mine too. Then Baby Bear spoke, oh no, my stand broke. And he started to sniffle, boo hoo. Then Mama Bear looked at her headphones. Oh, someone has tr tried on my pair. Mine too, growled Papa Bear. And then the parents both scowled and Baby Bear cried, mine are gone. Then Papa Bear said, who played my drum set? And Mama Bear said, who plucked my strings? Well, who's in my chair, asked the littlest bear. She's drooling all over my things. They stared at the slumbering blonde girl and Papa said, who could she be? He disrespected, he dis, <laughs> he dis, 
interrupted her dream. She woke with a scream. The pitch was quite high C. The bears asked to hear a whole melody. Once Goldie recovered from the shock, amazing, said mom. Papa grinned, you're the bomb. And baby bear cried, Goldie can rock. Together they wrote a new ditty. They practiced it into the night. As soon as they their new jingle became a hit, hit single, too hot, too cold, just right. Their albums now top all rock charts. The countrywide tour has been planned. The fans scream and shout, they're crazy about. Who do you think they're crazy about? Goldie Rocks and the great Three Bear Band. So that was Goldie Rocks and the Three Bears. Um, you could draw a picture of your favorite part of that so I'm trying something new. I'm gonna upload this on YouTube and send you the link and see if that can work. Um, also on YouTube are the two coffees with Chloe and I'm gonna do some math work and send that out as well in a few minutes. I hope this, uh, this story finds you well. Missing you lots. See you soon.